Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to do another book review and this time it is for one of the three currently published Swoon Read novels. So what Swoon Reads is, in essence, it's kind of X-Factor-esque in that authors submit their manuscripts and the public chooses which one is going to be published. So that's pretty awesome. So The Boy Next Door was a surprisingly intricate story. It had a lot of twists and turns that I did not expect. And that's why it was such a phenomenal movie. The story is about Maddie and Gabe, who are figure skaters, and they have been ever since they were around six years old. And around this time, they also got married, so they have a serious commitment with each other. Now, as they grow up, and, you know, they develop into little people, little people, that is so... As they grow older, they become even closer than they were, and they really can't see each other without one another. So they have planned it to go to college together and to always be together as figure skaters, and that is just the perfect setup for me. <laughs> they already know what they want, they don't want anyone else, or at least at first I think so. And I think that they're just going to be meant for each other, and that's that. And as it happens, Gabe is a bit of a playboy, and that is not cool with me, and it's not cool with Maddie either, and so she doesn't really care for it, but nonetheless, she knows that she loves him very much, and she tells you from the start, I love Gabe, and Gabe is more like, oh, she's my sister. I don't really see her that way, even though she's freaking hot. So then I think, yeah, she's freaking hot, and you can't really say that about your sister, because if you did, that'd be really, really creepy. So while Gabe doesn't really know what he wants, and while Maddie totally knows what she wants, they just work at their skating. So with time, Gabe grows to understand that he's actually really interested in developing something more with Maddie. So about the writing, the writing is really simple to understand, except there is a lot of skating terminology that I really didn't understand. I think it would have been really helpful had there been some some diagrams or some definitions or some some more background as far as what, you know, some of those moves were because I was lost when those came about. But other than that, it was a really simple read and really magical. All the scenery, I could totally envision it and the emotions especially, but that's just me. I kind of put myself into the character's shoes and I go through the emotions with them. So that's why I cried and laughed and did all that stuff. So. If you're not interested in learning anything more about this book, I highly recommend that you stop it here and come back once you've read the book because I will be giving a few spoilers out. So for those of you that have stayed, what did you think about all that secrecy, man? <laughs> all the secrecy really drove me crazy. At first I was like, Gabe, you're an ass. And then he explained himself and then I was like, oh, Gabe, you're so thoughtful. I love you. <laughs> And I just go, went back and forth, back and forth, and overall, I must say, Gabe was much more likable than Maddie, I thought. Let me know what you thought. Did you enjoy the secrecy? Because the secrecy between Maddie and Gabe really drove me nuts. And as well as between the parents. I mean, what the hell is going on? Why were they gone so often? And why did they have to propose that he was cheating or that he was, you know, doing other stuff. It was just ridiculous. I don't know. But I understand it. You need a little bit of that ridiculousness to make a good story. And I thought it did, but it just drove me nuts. Oh my gosh. I just had, I just, I just remembered. This book has one of the sweetest descriptions of a hand job. <laughs> did anybody think that? Because I thought, oh wow. I was totally shocked. I couldn't believe that I was reading something and that it didn't seem gross at all, but rather kind of sweet in a weird way. I don't know. Did anybody else have that feeling? I hope you've enjoyed my review. I'll see you soon. Bye.